Hello and welcome to Game of the Day here on Cricket Leinster TV. Today's offering from the Mason Alexander LHW Financial Planning Cricket Leinster Premier League is a vital clash between Clontarf and YMCA. At the toss, it was Jack Tector and his YMCA team who won it and they'll bat first. After choosing to bat, Jack Tector lost his opening partner Oliver Gunning in the first over. That merely brought brother Harry Tector to the crease and he would prove the mainstay of the YMCA innings. He struck five boundaries including some lovely drives through cover in his 65. Jack Tector hit this gorgeous cut shot and Harry hit the first maximum of the innings over long on before their partnership was broken on 41. Jack Tector beaten in the flight by Samir Dutt and Forrest completed the stumping. Harry merely proceeded to put on 42 with younger brother Tim for the third wicket. His second maximum to the same area going a little further this time. Beautiful sweep for four, followed immediately by a single, brought Harry Tector to his half century off 42 deliveries and YM to 83 for two. The following over, however, Connor Kelly picked up the wickets of both Tim Tector and Abassi to rein in the visitors. Momentum went back YM's way the next over, the 16th as two boundaries from Harry Tector and one from Barnes moved them along to 104. When both fell to Samir Dutt at the start of the 18th, Clontarf were back in the box seat. In the final two overs, two more YMCA wickets fell. But not before Mitchell Thompson reverse swept Pienaar very fine for four. Off their 20 overs, YM scored 123 for eight, Harry Tector contributing 65, Samir Dutt taking three for 13 for the home side. Clontarf needed to chase 124 to keep the Premier League title race alive, but lost Connor Kelly in the first over. Obus Pienaar set about calming the home side's nerves with a dismissive straight six off his first ball faced. Pienaar continued to take the attack to YM as he reverse swept, then went on the sweep before pulling to cow corner, all for boundaries in the space of just four deliveries. In the seventh over, he lofted a full toss over mid on for four more, and in the eighth, he played an even better shot, flicking Flanagan over deep square leg for six. Flanagan had his revenge next ball though, removing the overseas pro before bowling Andrew Pointer just two balls later. In his next over, the 10th, Flanagan bowled Forrest and in the space of 10 deliveries, he had removed three major Clontarf threats. Bill Coughlin remained, however, and he counter-attacked with a massive straight six before a fortunate boundary to find third man. Coughlin and Declan Gallagher were beginning to contemplate taking Clontarf home when Asher Abassi had Gallagher caught at mid-on and just two balls later, Mitchell Thompson took advantage of a mix-up to effect the run out of Coughlin. Ropu Islam then put his hand up to be the hero with a late cut boundary but Abassi then bowled him for his second wicket. It looked like all hope was lost when Joe Morrissey and Dutt needed 19 off two overs, perhaps even more so, needing 10 off two balls. Then, Dutt played an unbelievable shot over backward point for six. Needing three for victory, Abassi bowled a final dot ball and secured a two-run victory for YMCA. In the process, Marion are crowned champions of the Mason Alexander LHW Financial Planning Cricket Leinster Premier League for 2018. So I'm joined by tonight's player today, Harry Tector. Harry, wonderful game, great to get the victory. Oh yeah, I think it was an amazing game, you know, for it to come down to the last ball where either side could have won it, I think is a testament to how well the game was played um, on a tricky wicket and I think uh, the way 
Ashik Abassi came back there was incredible from getting hit for six second last ball so now it was a, a, a great win It was a tricky wicket as you say you top scored for your side 65 uh, there nobody else getting over 20 how did you seem to be batting on a different wicket to the rest of your teammates? Oh, I wouldn't say that um, I don't know I, I've been in a decent touch recently so that that, that definitely helps and um, I was ably supported by um, Jack and Tim they batted uh, they batted all right so or well um, and uh, yeah no it was just we we said 120 130 is a decent score and we managed to get up around that so uh, yeah that was good that was good and you defended it then right down to the last ball it does it uh, obviously finish the league for uh, the aspirations for Clontarf but it was all about yourselves and, and the integrity of playing for yourself with a young team tonight oh yeah I think uh, uh, we, were, we were saying it in the hull after one of one of the wickets you know we looked around as an incredibly young side and you see young guys like Tim like Mitchell um, all those lads sort of stepping up and competing at first team level which is great to see in a testament to Wimes, yeah. Well, it was a great game and, and great for us to be here with the Game of the Day cameras. So, there we are. That concludes our Game of the Day for this evening in the Mason Alexander LHW Financial Planning Cricket Lenser Premier League. All told, it was a two-run victory for YMCA at the end, but a fantastic game that went right the way to the last ball, as Harry just said. Join us again next time for another game here on Cricket Lenser TV. And until then... Go well.